Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode we're going to be taking a brief look at the Ultimate Windows Wallpaper Pack, which is something that I find really interesting. This was just released a few days ago and it comes to us from the person behind both the Windows Aesthetics Twitter account, which is an account that I've been following for the past couple of years, and the Windows Wallpaper Wiki. And this is his latest project of sorts, though according to what he posted on the Windows Aesthetics Twitter account, it's something that he's been working on for the past couple of years. So I'll have the DeviantArt link down below if you guys want to check this out. There's two ways you can explore it. There's a 2 gigabyte zip file on Google Drive as well as a 12 gigabyte folder on Mega. Now the Google Drive zip file does not contain everything. There is more in the Mega folder and that's what I've got right here. So you can go here and you got all these folders you can browse through and you know find whatever wallpaper that you're looking for. You could try to download this entire folder but if you have a free Mega account you won't be able to at one time because you'll exceed the uh, daily transfer limit that Mega puts on their free accounts. So this is really just designed for you to go through and like if you want a wallpaper from Windows XP, for example, you can go into the Windows XP folder and you can find, say you want Bliss. Well, here it is. If you want to get win.jpg, here that is. And, and these are all the original files, by the way. These are not like any fan-made recreations. And on top of that, there's also some non-Windows related wallpapers in here as well. I mean, I guess all this stuff relates to Windows in some way, but you've got like the alternate shots for some of these wallpapers, like Bliss, for example. This was something I talked about in my full video on the Bliss wallpaper. There were alternate shots of the same hill, and you can find those here. So here's one of them, here's that vertical shot, here's the other horizontal one, and here's uh, the other vertical one that unfortunately we don't have the full size of. This is just from that Corbis CD. But you've also got some alternate shots of Autumn, You've got some alternate shots. Oh, there's a winter variant. Wow, I didn't even know this. So look at that. Yeah, that's that's from the same guy. This is the same little area. Wow, see, I'm, I'm even learning stuff myself going through here. But you've also got like the sample photos from XP, the setup backgrounds, you know, like here's the, the 16 color setup BMP. Here's the, you know, regular one if you're, well, not running in 16 color anyway. You've got user account pictures. So th there's even more than, than wallpapers in here, which I find really, really cool. So I've gone ahead and downloaded as much of this archive as I can, and I've got it in this folder right here. And there is a readme.html document, which if you open up, it will give you information about the pack. It says, thanks for downloading, and it tells you what's included. And all of these are links, by the way. So you can click on like Windows 3.0, it'll open up that folder in your web browser. And let's say I wanna check out uh, chess.bmp, and there it is. Is. This is probably my favorite wallpaper from Windows 3.0. I, uh, I really, really like it. So, yeah, you even have some rejected wallpapers here as well, which this is one that I personally have not seen before. I could honestly spend an entire video just going through everything in this pack, but I feel like that would not only be extremely long, but I'm sure most people wouldn't watch the entire thing. So, I just wanted to make this quick video to really let you guys know about this. And this is just, it's really cool to me. I know I've said that, but I just love love, you know, these old wallpapers, this old Windows related stuff, it really fascinates me. And uh, I, I think this is definitely, as I said, the most uh, complete collection of Windows wallpapers and images that I've ever seen. Not everything is in here, I should mention that, you know, you see there are some things here that, that don't have links associated with them. And that's because for, well, a few reasons. Number one, there's just some wallpapers that have been lost to time uh, that we don't have access to for whatever reason, at least full versions of the wallpaper. And the big thing too is there aren't any fan-made wallpapers in here, which I think is great because this is trying to be a collection of official wallpapers. I think fan-made stuff is great, but you know it can kind of confuse people sometimes for example i was recently trying to find a wallpaper from windows 98. now yes i could have just copied this over from a virtual machine or from one of my older windows 98 systems but i wanted to see if this was available online somewhere so i go searching for windows 98 wallpapers and you know there's a bunch of images here there's also this first result wallpapercave.com and it says windows 98 background so i go in here and what do I find? I find a bunch of wallpapers that aren't actually from Windows 98. I mean, this one here has somebody's name up here, just like plastered on. So most of these are fan-made works. Again, nothing wrong with that, but if you're trying to find official wallpapers, 
and you come to this site, you might be confused because you might think that like this here or this here is an official wallpaper from 98 when it's not. So that's what's great about this because you'll know that everything in here is official in some capacity. So there you have it. That is a look at the Ultimate Windows Wallpaper Pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this quicker video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.